it's changed everything. Uh, the world was already a dangerous place, but we were finding that there had been a shift to non-state actors. And really that had been the focus of risk management from a geopolitical standpoint. And what we're seeing now is a return to a bit of a Cold War 2.0, where uh, it's a return to the era of great power competition, where state-led actors are really a huge preoccupation. And uh, that's creating new demands. Um, that's creating new demands by uh, shareholders, by stakeholders, by customers, as far as how companies are going to manage that risk, how they're going to position themselves in these very, very tricky geopolitical situations. And it's also had an impact uh, just on the global economy. That's obvious. We're all seeing what's happening with food prices, energy prices, overall inflation. The impact that we're seeing of that is really... Uh, it's, it's manifesting itself in a variety of different ways. We're seeing a rise of populist regimes globally from left and right. We're seeing a increase in rent seeking behavior, uh, just given that, that so many economies globally are, are suffering right now. Uh, and we're also seeing, uh, you know, companies uh, being kind of stuck, uh, you know, between uh, a rock and a hard place uh, when it comes to uh, state actors kind of putting them in a difficult spot vis-a-vis uh, -vis some of the policies that they're taking uh, nationally or, or regionally. Um, so at this point, uh, you know, what, what we are working quite a bit on uh, at, at, at McClarty, the McClarty side of the Ankara family, is helping to uh, run scenarios uh, for companies uh, around these various factors, uh, helping them to manage uh, not only uh, the economic and political risk that I've flagged, um, there's also a great deal of you know, shifting the digital sands uh, that we're seeing the trends that already have started towards balkanization of the internet uh, intensifying. Uh, that's another uh, factor that, that companies uh, need to manage. Uh, and you know, finally, uh, you know, there's, there's sanctions risk. And uh, we are seeing sanctions being applied uh, on a global scale as really never before. Um, this makes tracking of those sanctions incredibly tricky. It means uh, you know, having to uh, have a, a belt and suspenders approach to compliance, uh, very, uh, very important. 